coverage you can count on continues with all you need to know. The U.S. Senate voted to start work on a nearly $1 trillion national infrastructure package. The vote came together quickly last night after President Joe Biden and a bipartisan group of senators reached an agreement on the key part of the White House agenda. But it's unclear if enough senators will eventually support final passage. The process could take days. The CDC is recommending universal masking inside again. That includes vaccinated people. Local health officials say things are not all that different from the way they were before. There's no mandate in place. They say everything is up to the individual and their personal situation. Now, the Vigo County Health Department says it is prepared if cases continue to rise. They say if you have any questions, you can go to its website or give the department a call. The amount of plasma donors has significantly been decreasing since the, the pandemic began. Health experts say donating plasma can save lives and help those infected with COVID-19. Since last year, statistics show plasma donations are down about 20%. Find out how you can donate with this story on WTHITV.com. Expect to see more police officers on the roads when the new school year begins in a few weeks. Police agencies throughout the state will be increasing patrols. The goal is to protect kids going to and from school. Officers will be out in greater numbers watching for stop arm violations and people driving dangerously in school bus zones. The back to school blitz runs through mid September. It is going to be hot, humid, dangerously hot for some. Temperatures in the mid 90s this afternoon. The heat index actually closer to 110 in some places. Be careful outside. It is not going to be very comfortable. It's going to be very humid throughout the rest of the afternoon, and this is going to lead to a chance of scattered showers, potentially strong storms as we move through mid to late evening and over the course of the first part of the night. We're in the mid 60s by the end of the night. Now again, some of these storms could be strong. Be careful outside this evening. Of course, Storm Team 10 will monitor any strong storms that move through our area. Of course, Kevin will be here over the course of the evening to keep track of those. Mostly sunny skies, lower 80s as we move through the day. Tomorrow, much different. It's going to feel much better tomorrow. It's going to be much less humid. If we need to do anything outside, I would avoid today and just get outside tomorrow afternoon because, again, it's just going to feel much better and it's going to be drier throughout the afternoon. Now, we do have another chance of rain on Saturday. But again, the conditions continue to improve. It's going to be mid 70s on Saturday, which again, for this late in the season, out of the ordinary for temperatures to be that low. And they're in the lower 80s for the next several days after that. All over the place. All right, Brady, thank you. And thank you so much for watching. CBS This Morning starts at the top of the hour. We hope you have a great Thursday. For the most local news, every newscast, every day, you can depend on News 10. Coverage you can count on.